third word from the cross is woman behold your son son behold your mother at this point in the crucifixion jesus is on the cross and no doubt he is beyond exhausted and in intense pain and as he looks down from that place he sees his mother john and mary magdalene and then of course the soldiers and all the others and in this moment on the cross he has this compassion that many of us don't understand that in the place of extreme exhaustion, he still cares for one another. As we know, Mary would have been a widow. Joseph would have been gone. There's some evidence that Jesus may have had brothers, but we're also told throughout Mark specifically and in all the gospels that the disciples didn't get it. John was the closest one that understood who Jesus was and what was happening. And so I love that he takes Mary and John and he puts them together and says, here, you guys understand. Care for one another. The next days, they're going to be hard. The next years, there are going to be questions. Love one another. Encourage one another. Be there. You know, Mary knew from the very beginning, the wedding at Cana, remember, she's the one that encouraged Jesus to turn that water into wine when Jesus said, it's not yet my time. Mary knew. Mary knew way before that when she was pregnant, she felt, she knew, and I love those words. She pondered them in her heart. And as a parent and as a mom, you know, it's one of my greatest callings. My kids are everything to me. And I know their voices. I know what kind of cry it is, whether it's a cry of laughter or grief or, or pain. I know as soon as I pick up the phone and I, and I talk to, to Jacob, whether he's going to ask for money, he's in college, or if he has a question or if he needs me to read a paper, it, moms know, dads do too, but we're talking about Mary. And Mary knew, and so did John. So when we hear this woman, behold your son, son, behold your mother, I don't want you to think of it just as Mary and John. I want you to think about it as Jesus looking down on you and on me those that understand the story, even if just by a little bit. Carrie, behold Joe. Joe, behold Carrie. Because Carrie's going to have some hard days and she's going to need to have somebody next to her with a strong faith that knows to get her through those. And Joe, likewise, in that community of faith in which all of us are bound, Joe also is going to have those days and Jesus says, Carrie, behold Joe. Joe's having a rough day. Walk with him. And I love that, that Jesus thinks so far behind his death and that pain into the community that we need now, especially now in COVID. Your faith is important. Jesus is speaking to you today because your faith Somebody else needs a piece of that. So whether your name is Nancy or Heidi or Joe or Monty or Marta or, or Nancy or Paul or Timbuktu or Zechariah, I don't know what your name is, but God does. And he knows that you need to be in that community and you need to share your faith with others so they can share theirs with you. So when that road gets rough and difficult and it feels like we're in the valley of the shadow of death all alone, you're not. Because that word from the cross tells us that we are to behold one another. Hold one another in faith. My friends, my prayers are yours. Peace and blessings.